you can write that one too. I like clapping. What's up guys, Adam again here at Taylor Outfitters. Got another fly tying video for you today. As you can see, got another fly in my hand. Got some backing. The only reason I'm using the backing is because you can see it, it makes it easier. But um, got a fly in my hand, and this is not a fly specific knot per se, but it's the, the knot I really like to use fly fishing for attaching a fly to your tippet. So this is the perception loop. The nope it is the non-slip loop. No, it is the slippery mono loop. Nope. No, it's the non-slip mono loop. That's what it is, the non-slip mono loop. Uh, this is what it looks like, real low profile, um, real small knot, works out really well. Let's snip this off and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So picture this, nylon, fluorocarbon, mono, uh, just picture this as your tippet. Um, so we start off, we'll give ourselves about, you know, six or eight inches of line right here, and then we'll tie an overhand knot. And don't cinch this all the way down. Leave it nice and open like that, because you're gonna need that later. So now take your tag end and go through the eye of the hook. Give myself some extra line. So we'll go through the hook here, and then we'll we'll pull down uh, on the tag end so that uh, that overhand knot is right against the eye of the hook. And then we'll take our tag end here and go through the loop that you made in the overhand knot. So this is very important. You want to make sure the knot is upside down like that. The overhand knot's upside down. Then we'll take our tag end, like I said, and go through the loop and uh, pull it. So that's what we're working with now, just like that. And then we'll take our tag end and wrap it over our main line two or three times. So there we go. It's about two or three times right there. And then when you go through, you want to go back through that overhand knot. But this is very important. You want to go back through the opposite way you went through before. So you can see this way I'm going in, but you can see it's coming out the same way I went in. That's You don't want to do that. You want to go back the opposite way. That's very important. You'll know real quick if you tied it wrong because it, it just won't hold. And then we'll go from there and hold your tag end and pull down at the same time on your tag end and your main line. And then, I mean, it works too well if you wet it. Put it in our mouth, cinch it down. That's our non-slip mono schmoop loop. Perfection, nope, that's not a perfection loop. It's a non-slip mono loop. Fantastic knot. This works really well too for, uh, for you non-fly fishermen out there. Works really well on topwater lures, uh, jerk baits, uh, live bait, just things where you want a loop knot to give yourself some more action there. Um, but regardless of the fishing you do, that's how you tie the non-slip mono loop.